Hi, my name is Ravi. Today I am going to bring you an another diagnosis video. This is Audi Q5 TFSI 2 liter engine was in another garage. Uh, they have done a major engine repair. After the first test run, it has started a nightmare. Their complaint were long crank time. If you start the engine, it stall or oh, heavy misfire. Sometimes no start. And they have tried two weeks to short this out. So I visit there and start my diagnosis. First and foremost, pre-scan the car and there were 17 faults in the engine control module. Most of them were history fault that said due to the unplugged sensors for the previous diagnosis by the engine repaired guy in that garage. Engine repaired guy told that they got different fault codes time to time and made them confused. When I scanned the car, there were several faults to consider, but I found P0016 cam crank correlation code, which is good to chase with the symptoms after major engine repair. But the engine repaired guy confirmed timing is on time. He had double checked that the timing chain aligned on the right timing marks. Even though timing chain aligned on the right timing marks, there are several other ways that could set cam crank correlation code. Maybe bad cam or crank sensor signal, broken target wheel or broken camshaft related parts and many more stuffs could cause for this situation. Who knows? So my next step was see the cam crank signals using an oscilloscope. I put my HS502 oscilloscope and captured the cam crank signals. Okay, let's analyze these signals to see the current cam crank correlation on this engine. It might reveal the real cause. Here is that cam crank signal, so I will separate them for better view. Yellow trace is the crank signal that indicate VR type signal. Uh, green trace is hole effect signal from cam sensor. I will zoom in them and then you will have a better view. Nice and good looking cam and crank sensor signals waveform. So I believe that uh, there shouldn't be anything wrong with this cam and crank sensors and its related wiring harness the, and the uh, ECM side of control these cam and crank signals. So let's go ahead and align these signals to find the cam crank correlation of this engine after the major engine repair. Then it will reveal the timing of this engine. So I will put a ruler and deliver a little clarification about this waveform. I drag this ruler here on this key notch of the crankshaft signal of the yellow trace and from here to here it's a 360 degrees or one crankshaft rotation. And then from here to the next key notch uh, it is two crankshaft rotation so we can call 720 degrees of crankshaft rotation. Okay next I will point this uh, green trace of the camshaft position sensor signal. I will start from here from here to here one uh, fat tower you can see one fat tower and then uh, again next uh, one fat tower so there are two fat towers and you can see here and then uh, here is a one skinny uh, tower you can see that and Again, next uh, we drag this ruler out there and again one skinny uh, tower here. So two fat towers and two skinny towers available in the camshaft position sensor continuously. You can see all along the way it's run continuously. One camshaft rotation, two fat towers and two skinny towers. So hope you make sense of this camshaft signal pattern. And so let's go to the next step and find the cam crank correlation of this waveform. Okay, already I have focused two crankshaft rotation here to here. Uh, it is easy for us to analyze. So uh, that is 720 degrees of the crankshaft rotation, but one camshaft rotation. You know that two fat towers and two skinny towers are the one single camshaft rotation. I choose this middle key notch for ease of remembering and I try to get the correlation from there. So I get the, uh, not this first fat tower, I go to the second fat tower, uh, the rising edge of the second fat tower here. So I put the ruler right on the rising edge and now you can see how far that rising edge away from the middle key notch. Actually, if we need, we can calculate how many teeth apart from the middle key notch of the crank signal. So let's calculate it. Uh, first, I will uh, accept this uh, middle key notch, but I calculate from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That means the rising edge of the second fat tower of the cam signal is located 10 teeth away from this uh, middle key notch. So 
if someone need to get a different correlation they can do it as they wish but i did it here uh, as i feel convenient so now i know this rising edge is located 10 teeth away from the middle key notch so we need a known good cam crank correlation waveform for this specific car to compare it with our waveform so let's go to the internet and try to find a known good cam crank correlation waveform online Okay, I found that non-good waveform from this rotokey.com, uh, which is a good and excellent free service uh, we can find in internet. So, I found uh, exact same engine waveform. Uh, here you can see that, but it's a Audi A4, but the engine is same engine, 2 liter TFSI engine. Uh, here you can see that it's a good time in waveform. So we get this picture enlarge and see uh, what is the correlation of this waveform. Then we can compare it with our waveform. So let's zoom in this picture and see the cam crank correlation. Here you can see uh, it's the same waveform as ours. Sine wave of crank signal and square wave of cam signal. So uh, you can see here uh, same as ours uh, two fat towers and two skinny towers. Hope you can see the correlation here in this waveform clearly, but uh, let's take a look at more closely. Uh, do you see that the uh, rising edge of second fat tower is aligned right on the middle of the uh, crankshaft signal key notch? So definitely in our waveform, we have a out of timing waveform, but this one is a non good one that is aligned. This uh, rising edge is aligned right on the uh, crank signal key notch. But our one is aligned uh, 10 teeth away from this uh, key notch. So definitely we have a timing problem. Let's take a look more closely. That is clear. You can see this rising edge is aligned right of the middle on the uh, crankshaft signal key notch. So this is non-good timing waveform. But when we compare it with ours, we have a out of timing waveform. Let's go to the our waveform and recheck and we have to find why our car is out of timing. So definitely you can see again that our timing is out of timing. This uh, second fat tower rising edge is aligned 10 teeth away from the middle key notch of the crank signal. That is very clear. We are out of timing. So we have to find it uh, why it has happened like that because uh, the mechanic guy who repaired this uh, engine confirm that he did it in right way and he uh, put the timing marks in right positions anyway uh, before go to the next step i would like to show you how to calculate uh, the timing in degrees and see how many degrees out of timing or in this waveform when we compare it to the non-good waveform so i put a 360 degrees rulers layout here and i will align this layout on uh, two crankshaft signal slots uh, one is here and uh, other one is here that is 720 degrees that is true but we are going to see the camshaft rotation one camshaft rotation is 360 degrees for better understanding i align that uh, rulers layout on the crankshaft signal but still we get the 360 degrees of uh, camshaft signal okay uh, so uh, let's go to the uh, correlation and uh, see the timing in degrees hope you can see that the middle key notch of the crank signal is aligned nearby 180 degrees and then i drag this ruler onto the uh, second fat tower rising edge where our correlation mark is going uh, so that is on the 146 degrees so that is clear uh, from 180 degrees to 146 degrees means almost uh, 30 degrees timing is out than the original non-good timing waveform so our correlation mark is 30 degrees away onward to the left side uh, from the middle key notch that means if the timing is moved onward to the left from the original correlated location mean advance if it move onward to the right from the correlated location is retarded so that is clear our waveform is 30 degrees advanced so this car is running 30 degrees advanced of timing so that is a problem so even though mechanic guy confirmed timing is on the right timing marks we remove the timing cover and check the timing he's right timing chain on right on the timing marks then what it could be it is 30 degrees advanced than the original timing 
Anyway, what about the VVT system? VVT system is designed for advanced the timing. So if something has happened with the VVT system, it may cause for advanced timing like uh, 30 degrees or something like that, uh, which has happened to our engine. Therefore, I put my attention into the VVT system. I am right. I found something strange here. Do you see that I have pointed out a little piston here in the VVT uh, oil pressure actuator valve. So this piston should stay stick inside the uh, actuator. But you can see that uh, little piston has broken and it has popped out from the actuator assembly. It should be in a flat su surface. This is the problem. When we fit that uh, electrical valve solenoid into that hole, its flat bottom surface push this piston inward to the oil pressure actuator that caused to release the oil pressure into the phaser and advance the cam. So that is why that cam timing is 30 degrees out of right timing. So this is how that piston should be and looks like. Uh, it must stick into the flat surface and when electrical valve energized by the ECM, it will push it into the oil pressure actuator and release the oil pressure into the cam phaser. Replace the new oil pressure actuator valve and solve the problem. I will show you that new cam crank correlation waveform after fix. Okay, do you see now rising edge of the second fat tower aligned right on the key notch of the crank signal. Now it is perfect timing as we seen in the known good timing waveform. So this car is fixed, no more bad symptoms of drivability concern. However, if we didn't use the oscilloscope to diagnose this issue, it would have been hard to solve problem. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay subscribed with us for more diagnostic videos.